My name is Tony Clark. I live in Mississauga, Ontario. I'm married to Sharon Clark, my beautiful wife. I have three beautiful children and four grandchildren, and I've had kidney cancer for five years. I think everybody's cancer story is unique because it's their own individual story. Uh, mine's unique probably for a couple of reasons. Number one, I have an identical twin brother, which has really confused the medical community at large because they're, they, they can't understand why I'd have the disease and my brother doesn't have the disease. I've survived five years on a variety of different treatment therapies, um, which is really unusual. Uh, most of the patients today uh, in the, in the uh, uh, public payer system only have, one access to, uh, only have access to one drug. I've had access to a number and I'm, I'm very healthy as it stands right now. I think when you're told that you have cancer, the first thought that comes into your mind is how long am I going to live? Um, it, was, it was an awful day. Um, I shared it with my family, of course, and uh, we all felt exactly the same. You know, what, what does the future hold? Uh, it was a really difficult time. I had my kidney out in July of 2004, and in May of 2005, um, the disease metastasized into my lungs. Um, at that point, the doctors told me there was really nothing they could do for me. And I thought, well, I don't accept that. I'm going to find out what I can do for myself. I went to a couple of other institutions in the United States to get uh, second and third opinions. And they basically told me the same thing. They said, with your cell type and the rare, the rare cell type that you have, um, the prognosis is not good. In fact, I was told by one major cancer institute in the States that I had a year to live. I've had a variety of different drugs that have worked uh, for a period of time. When one stops working, I investigate with my oncologist what's available. And uh, I've been successful in, in, uh, in having a variety of different treatments that have kept me alive for five years. One of the biggest things that we're involved with with our organization, Kidney Cancer Canada, is trying to secure uh, access to sequential treatment for patients right across the country. We think it's paramount that, uh, that with this disease, that, you, that once you've had one treatment therapy and it fails, that you need and should be available to get access to what we call a second line, a second drug that's available, and perhaps a third one after that. I would say that once you're diagnosed and you understand the illness that you're dealing with, there's huge hope for, uh, for any patient today. And I think the hope rests in the fact that there are, uh, there are three drugs approved by Health Canada on the marketplace right now, and um, two of them are readily available in every province in Canada, and we're fighting diligently to get the third one approved. I, I think when you're diagnosed with a terminal illness, um, you take stock of, of your life and, and you sort of reevaluate what's important to you. Um, I've certainly changed my uh, perspective on life over the last five years. I realize relationships are the most important thing to me now, rather than the assets that I can accumulate or the amount of money that I have. It's about the time I spend with family and friends. It's about uh, helping others. Um, it's about enjoying life. It's about waking up every day and realizing that you have another opportunity to, uh, to, uh, to live life to the fullest, to, uh, to share with others um, some of the things that you're thinking about and that are important to you to try and impact others from the perspective that uh, you can help other people perhaps with this illness. Um, I've made the decision that, uh, that I want to live with this disease rather than die with it and um, uh, you know, I've, I've also made the decision that uh, I've learned a lot about this illness and I can share what I've learned about it with, uh, with other people through, uh, you know, through, through, uh, through our organization Kidney Cancer Canada.